Hi, this is your tutor Ali. I'm gonna talk about the AutoCAD interface today and uh, how to use the interface where everything is placed and what the interface is all about. So this is the interface that you see in AutoCAD. Now the program that I'm using is AutoCAD 2010. It's a student version. So you can always download it uh, for free if, you, if you're a student in some school or you're an instructor and stuff like that. Uh, the first line that we see over here is the menu bar. Now the menu bar has a bunch of different things and it, it's a drop down menu so I can click on something and then I can see all the options that it gives me. Like as in if I want to uh, open a new file, close a file, open an existing file, save a file, export, e-transmit, there's so many different tools that are used. It even shows uh, the different files that you have been working with before so you can just go click on that and open it, right? The next one is the edit menu where you can cut, copy, paste and work with blocks that will come to later on where I will explain you what blocks are. Uh, then we have the view command, uh, sorry, the view drop down menu where we can regenerate the view that we are working with where we can use the zoom tools and stuff like that to zoom in and out of our drawings. Uh, so let's go to the insert command. The insert has like inserting in uh, an existing drawing. I can insert in a PDF drawing. I can insert a, an image, um, which is a JPEG or something, where I can insert it in and start tracing it. So it's a pretty handy uh, drop-down menu that you would be using quite a bit over here. The insert command. The next is the format, where you would be formatting. Um, whatever you are drawing. For instance, I can format the units. If I'm working in inches, I can convert it into uh, metric, uh, so on and so forth. I can change the dimension size, the dimension style, the text style, the line type, the line weights, the color. So there's a lot of changes that I do over here with my drawing and we'll be using this also. Next one that we see is the tools where uh, you see the different toolbars. Now AutoCAD comes with all these toolbars. They're like probably like 50 or 60 different toolbars. The ones that I have up on my screen that you see over here on the top, on the side, are are just like these ones selected over here. I can turn it on and off from here as well. So I really don't use all these toolbars, but if ever I need, I can always click on it and it will pop up on my screen. So let's go to the draw. Uh, menu bar where I will be using this to draw like a line and different shapes and that's what I'll be using for the draw uh, menu bar again this thing is placed up here so I could do the same thing exactly from here as well next go to the dimensioning now everything you draw has to be dimensioned unless it's dimension you cannot manufacture it or you cannot produce it or construct it right so every drawing that we do, we will learn how to use these dimension tools to, to dimension our drawing uh, and uh, complete our drawing. The next one is the modify. Everything you draw has to be modified upon some time or the other. right? I can make this AutoCAD drawing and come back to it a year later and modify it. I can uh, put in more stuff, I can erase it, I can delete it, I can change the drawing. So I'll be using this modify panel quite a bit. That's why I have the modifier toolbar located up here, which is the same as this. And then the parametric, which are some geometric constraints where I can constrain my objects to, you know, the parallel and perpendiculars with and stuff like that. Let's go to the help. In the help, you can go click on the help menu where you can type in a certain tool if you're looking for if you want to learn more about it you can always just go and type the name right there the last one is the express which has the blocks text uh, dimension express tools we'll work with that sometime later the next line that you see out here is uh, again a toolbar now this is opening and saving and printing a file. I could do the same thing over here. Okay, so you see, so many tools are pretty much repeated all over. Uh, so, and there are like three different ways of doing every single step. Okay, we'll come to that when I start working with some examples where I'll show you how different tools uh, work in different ways. Zoom tools. 
Now over here is the design center. If I go over here, there's a preset AutoCAD library where I could use the different blocks and you know if you go in here there's some kitchen drawings I could go use uh, these blocks that are already drawn and obviously even save the new blocks if I ever wanna save them uh, then we have the text tools over here where wherever we put the text we're gonna put the different font size uh, the styles okay let's go to the next one now the next one is uh, the AutoCAD uh, menu bar where you can switch from the AutoCAD classic view to the uh, to the 3d modeling view or the initial uh, setup workspace view but we'll be working in AutoCAD classic view the reason being this view really doesn't change this view always stays the same it has been the same since AutoCAD release 14 I would say uh, this was close to I would say well some years ago okay so I'm really comfortable using this AutoCAD classic view rather than using this one which comes in default when you open your AutoCAD so this is the view you probably would be seeing so to change this view all you have to do is go down here and click on uh, the AutoCAD classic view now another reason why I use the AutoCAD classic view is because every time there's a new version that comes up which is pretty much every year they they change around the location of all the tools in the toolbars so that sometimes becomes a problem trying to just find what you're looking for so it's always uh, a good idea to work with the classic view the next one right next to it what we see is uh, the layer panel now this layer panel is used for uh, let's go and see what are different layers that we have <coughs> it already has preset layers like for instance if I want to do text I'll go on the text layer and start doing text on the text layer if I am drawing something in the front view I'll go on the front view uh, if I uh, do something on the title block I will go on the title block layer so this helps me turn the layers on and off and be more efficient in organizing my drawing so the layer panel is extremely important it will take me one lecture to explain this in detail so uh, I will do that sometime later even this is with the layers uh, the layer different colors that you could use for your drawing then uh, uh, the different line types I could use I could use a hidden line a center line you know different lines I can load like maybe hundred different types of lines that are already there in AutoCAD um, if you're drawing by layer you can use in different thicknesses we we'll talk about this as well later on and then you have the by layer tab okay so this was explaining the top part now let's get onto the side these are the toolbars as I explained before and if you ever want more toolbars you can always put it up but what that means is just crowding up your screen which is more important because this is where you draw and you need like a, a bigger space so you just put in the tools only the ones that you really use a lot rather than just filling up your screen if I would want to do that I can just go to the tools and go to the toolbars go AutoCAD and I can select all these up and then it will uh, pop out on my screen like for instance if I select layout you see it gave me a small little layout toolbar can always drag it and put it if I have space drag it and dock it so it stays right there okay but I really don't use this that much so I'm gonna drag it out again and exit out okay but I could fill up my whole window with these toolbars if I wanted but again that's not a good idea not advisable okay the next thing uh, is in the middle we have the drawing space this is where all the drawing is done and in the drawing window I can draw pretty much every house uh, floor plan on this whole planet so this screen really doesn't end okay it's unlimited I can keep drawing your whole city with every single wall of every single house onto this sheet so this is never ending okay uh, <clears throat> on here you have two different paths one is the model the other one is the layout layout is just used for printing and putting in the text nothing else you never ever draw onto this screen okay you always draw onto the model space 
Again to the right, what you see is another toolbar. This is a modifying toolbar. Again, you get it from here if you want. Now modifying you use quite a bit, so that's why I, I keep the modifying toolbar up. Uh, this window is your drawing window as I said right now and this window I can minimize it, I can maximize it or close it. I don't need to really close the whole program by going up there. I just close my current file. I, if I minimize it, see it goes all the way down here. So I can have 50 AutoCAD files open if I want but that slows down your computer so that's not advisable. So I can maximize it and I get my screen back. Now going to the bottom, this is an important part in AutoCAD, this is called the command line or the command panel. This is where uh, anything and everything I do gets recorded and uh, it, it shows what steps I've been working with in AutoCAD. Like For instance, if I go to the line tool, you see, it's already given me <coughs> a command asking me, hey, command line, specify the first point. So basically it's talking to me. Now it's telling me specify the next point. And this is how I keep going, right? till I finish my command and to get out of this command I have to hit escape so now my command line is blank right just because I hit escape so I'm out of that command so you have to constantly keep an eye onto this command line to see what you're going I could always drag the screen up a little bit give more space for my command line but I think a couple lines is more than enough for me okay and uh, the last one is down here this is the status bar of AutoCAD again a really handy tool which you would be using a lot all the time so you have to keep an eye on these what this tells you is your different drawing coordinates like where am I where is my mouse right now it shows me the X and Y different coordinate right if I'm working with 3D it will even show me X Y and Z right now it's just showing me X and Y then we have uh, different tools here called as the snap mode. Now if I turn the snap mode on and the next one is the grid display on, I could make my drawing onto the grid. So sometimes this helps, uh, but I really never use it. Now this is a really old uh, command that has stuck with AutoCAD for forever, since AutoCAD I would say is release, uh, release 7. Okay, that's when I started with AutoCAD. That was like some 15 years ago. So we really don't use these anymore. But if you ever wanted, you know, you're welcome to, but not of much help anymore. So I can turn it off, turn the snap off as well. Okay. The next one again is an ortho uh, mode where I can make uh, perpendicular lines, just like it says over there. If I turn it on, everything I will draw is going to be perpendicular no matter where I click right so sometimes you use that command uh, but again when we get to this which is the polar tracking we really don't use this anymore so I can turn that off next one is the polar tracking where I can uh, I can draw lines with the different angles okay see it's showing me all the different angles I can I can set up the different angles that I want by holding it for a second and then going you see all these different angles there I can put in at 45 and then I can it gives me an option to draw something at 45 angle which is really cool and you use this a lot as well and going to the next one is the object snap extremely extremely important you always have to make sure this is turned on and if I go hold hold it for a second, go in the settings. What this does is whenever I'm drawing, it will snap to the end point of the object, midpoint of the object, center of the object, perpendicular of the object. So it makes life a lot more easier and it's all about making a perfect drawing. That's what we do over here. So we work with that and I hope you will follow later on. Now going over here I can toggle between model and paper space. I can zoom in and out using my zoom tools uh, then I could uh, then I could put in a scale to my drawing now again you use the scale only only in uh, the paper space so we leave that for later on and then we have the different modes which is the same as top here 
where you can toggle between the different screens. 